Hello, today is one of the videos where I share information about devices that you can use in your daily life. And this device is called uh, OBD Reader, OBD2, uh, with a 16-pin cable, which is used now on modern cars, in order to diagnose problems with the car. And when we say that this device has a 16-pin connector, that's what we mean. This is the connector, and it has 16 pins, metal bars that go inside of the other connector in, in your car, which is normally located under the steering wheel, under the dash, near your legs. Pretty easy to use. This one is a cheap device that anyone can use. They are pretty affordable. And if you're a person who likes to know more about your car, if you like fixing things on your own and uh, wants to deal with simple problems your car may have or you decide to buy a second-hand car or you usually deal with second-hand cars uh, in this situation especially these devices can be helpful so uh, in this video i'll show also the nominal values that this device should show in a normally working second-hand car this car that I have here has already around 200,000 kilometers, 19 years old, and it still runs pretty well. Let's see what the values the OBD2 reader should show for the for a normally running car with a lot of years and uh, a lot of mileage on it. One of the first things you will need to check is OBD2 menu. You will have a table with some indicators and the first one will be MIL status which is malfunctioning indicator light status. This is the light that comes on when the car detects a problem and the uh, symbol in the form of an engine appears on the dash. In my case it's uh, off now. And then you have uh, diagnostic trouble codes DTCs which I have zero and then comes readiness supported and readiness complete indicators. You see it's showing how many readiness indicators it, it supports. It's seven and it shows that all of those have been completed. A car which has been running fine, uh, which had battery on it all the time, which wasn't serviced recently, which wasn't reset recently, or didn't stay without any use should have readiness completed indicators done because uh, you may have let's say here you have seven if you have seven readiness supported indicators and only six or five or less are completed it means that uh, the person who is selling you a car let's say you're buying a second-hand car may have had this car disconnected from the battery may have not used it for a long time or may have reset the codes uh, the computer inside of the car so that you don't detect problems because not all problems appear immediately the car should run some tests while driving to to understand whether the code is persisting or not so you want to make sure that a properly running car should have the written support and written complete numbers equal in my case it's seven and seven so i know that the car ran through all tests and then in order to see what tests exactly were ran by the system you will get into the im a so-called im readiness menu where you'll get more in detailed information about what codes uh, you have apart from current trouble codes you may have pending codes which you will see in this menu and here you can see that my car passed all tests. The gray indicators means that they are not supported. So we have a uh, one pending code which uh, the car will have to test after a few driving cycles. And if the same error uh, gets confirmed, it will pop up as a current code. But for now, I have zero current codes. And we'll see what it's all about now. So there's a menu which where you can read the codes and I have this air fuel pump 
primary circuit. When you see codes like this, you will go to the internet and research more about it. The car is running normally, and uh, I think that this data stream that I'm going to show, this data stream, will show all items with nominal or close to nominal values. I have to turn on the car for the OBD reader. Show me all the values. Now the car is running and we can check all uh, values. Data stream will show me now. So I'm selecting all items and we'll see what the nominal values or close to nominal values should be in a regular working car. Cooling temperature should be high. The car was cold. I'm showing you these values because this car is running fine. It's been running for four years without any problems. I'm adding some acceleration here. position should change when you accelerate is the simplest one it shows a uh, limited number of values but uh, these are the values that I was going to show you you can also use this device to erase codes for example I have a pending code but maybe I'll try to delete it and see if it pops out again so I will delete this and it will give me some instructions on how to do that so it tells me to turn ignition on put engine off press enter key so the codes are deleted so i have readiness supported seven indicators and readiness complete only three indicators completed I have to drive the car through a few driving cycles to complete f other four tests and then we'll see if my fuel thing comes up again. If I read codes again. So I have now the error saying that uh, not all readiness tests were completed. So after running the car we'll see if I have anything else. So after I cleared the codes, I drove around 300 kilometers and I checked the codes again and now I see that uh, the code that uh, popped up, the pending code that popped up before, now doesn't appear. So let's go to the I am readiness indicators. And now you can see that there are no current codes, no pending codes, and all tests have been completed. They are all in green as well. Now let's get to OBD2 indicators. After driving a good number of kilometers, we can see that the number of supported indicators and the number of completed indicators is equal and that's how it should be let's try to read codes just in case although the table was showing zero codes and no painting codes it will tell you that vehicle has no fault codes now the car is on and we will check the stream data uh, with a running car with no fault codes
go to data stream and view all items. Cooling temperature is now not at its nominal value because the car is cold. Now accelerate a little bit. Looks like the numbers here are a little bit different after the codes were cleared. Ignition timing at once changes when we accelerate. Changes when we accelerate. Oxygen voltage, sensor output voltage. Also changes when we accelerate. Short term period. Plays a bit when we accelerate. In zero kilometers distance traveled while malfunction indicator light was indicated. It was never indi it was never activated actually because the code was pending and it wasn't confirmed and now it's all clear you may also see alternatives like uh, small uh, connectors that can be connected to your mobile phone with bluetooth connection but what i've seen is that having a well-designed uh, obd device with a cable that will plug into your car is much more comfortable than trying to create connection with your mobile phone uh, make sure the software is working correctly etc etc so my choice is having this device always in the car and not depend on mobile phones